Hey folks, we just got done riding Suzuki's 2022 GSX-S1000 GT Plus. This is Suzuki Motor out of Hamamatsu, Japan's top of the range sport touring bike for the 2022 model year. Now this vehicle is based off the overhauled for 2022 GSX-S1000 naked bike, which we tested earlier in the year. This particular model, though, is designed for sport touring. Think faraway destinations, think bringing a passenger, think bringing some accoutrement with you on the course of the ride. Now, this motorcycle is powered by Suzuki's tried and true 999ccI4 engine. This engine configuration, the architecture is designed off the 2005 and 2006 GSXR. 1000. Now the actual cases, the pistons, all the engine internals, they have been tweaked and they, they benefit from new manufacturing techniques. So it's not like Suzuki just went back 17 years and pulled the engines out of those things and put them in here. The engines are all new and they benefit from enhanced engineering that you as a manufacturer learn after you build something for 17 years. Now the thing we really like about this engine is just how much character it has. This thing is just a hoot to ride. It's got a really pleasing air induction howl when you're giving her the beans. The exhaust note is nice and sharp and it sounds really pleasant, but yet it's not overly loud where it's gonna annoy your neighbors or other people in vehicles next to you. Now, this engine benefits from ride by wire throttle and Suzuki really has it dialed in. They continue to use their SDMS combined engine power and throttle response maps. A is the most aggressive, B is a little bit less than that, and C is a little bit less than that. And what each letter down means is it's just a little bit smoother power, a little bit less power output. If you were a new rider and this was your first bike and you wanted to get up to speed on this bike, you'd ride it in power mode C and the thing isn't gonna get away from you. Conversely, if you're a seasoned pro and you wanna give her the full beans, A mode is the best for that. Paired with the ride-by-wire throttle is Suzuki's traction control system. Suzuki offers five levels of traction control adjustment plus off. One gripe about this system is it's a little bit older in terms of its engineering profile. This vehicle, nor does any Suzuki vehicle, benefit from an IMU when it comes to powering both the traction control and the brakes. Speaking of brakes, this thing has a really potent set of triple disc hydraulic brakes. The brakes do a really nice job of keeping speed in check. Even though this bike doesn't employ a modern radial mount master cylinder, the braking package on this motorcycle works very well. Again, this bike does not include cornering ABS. You need the situational and positional awareness of an IMU chip. It's the same type of chip inside your Apple smartphone that gives it positional awareness. So this motorcycle doesn't have that, so it doesn't have cornering ABS. Still, it does have fixed always on ABS, and it really works well. I really wouldn't see a need for having a cornering ABS just because this motorcycle works so good with its conventional ABS. Now, one of the hallmark features of these Suzuki sport bikes and sport touring bikes is just how comfortable they are. I really like how I fit on this bike. The windscreen's nice and tall. The front fairing is nice and broad. It does a good job of pushing air up and around me. For sure, it would have been nice if this windscreen had a little bit of height adjustment, but it's not that big of a deal. If you're a really tall rider, you can always opt for Suzuki's optional touring windscreen, which is $170 upcharge. Another accessory that we would fit on this GSX S1000 GT Plus is its $455 heated grips. Yes, we wish this bike came equipped OE with heated grips, but that's just gonna push up the MSRP. We would definitely spend $455 on that accessory. Styling on this motorcycle. I really like the styling on this motorcycle. It looks very similar to a certain Japanese manufacturer's supercharged motorcycles. I like the angular bodywork. I like the LED headlights. These LED headlights work a lot better during night rides than the stacked headlights set up on the GSX-S1000 naked bike. 
I also like this bright 6.5 inch color TFT display. Yes, Suzuki start finally stepped up to the big show to run with the big dogs and put a six and a half inch color TFT screen on it. Looks really sharp, really clean, really easy to use. Switch gears, very simple. I like that it has the dark mode. So it has the white numbers and the black background. Uh, Suzuki also introduced its, its My Spin app, which gives turn by turn navigation right there on display. It's very similar to what BMW Motorrad offers with its Ride Connected app, which is absolutely fantastic. I also like this USB charging port that is right here. Although it looks like a 12 volt charging port, it's actually a USB charging port, which is awesome. A lot of motorcycles still come with 12 volt charging ports, which is kind of cool, but realistically we're in the USB age now, so everything should be USB. Handling on this motorcycle, Despite this thing weighing 40 pounds more than the GSX-S 1000 naked bike at right around 520 pounds, this thing gets some. This bike handles so good. It turns left, right, right, left really well. You would think that this motorcycle weighed a lot less than it did just because it dances so well. I like the support of the inverted fork with the triple adjustment, spring preload, compression, and rebound damping. The shock also feels very nice and has a good amount of support when you are hard on the gas. This is a very nice motorcycle for someone who wants to have a balance between comfort on bumpy roads and still can get some and have some fun in the twisties. This is an OG style sport touring bike. A lot of the sport touring bikes nowadays are becoming more upright, almost more adventure sport touring bikes but Suzuki sticks to the script with its GSX-1000 GT+. Plus. This is a tried and true sport touring rig. Five gallon fuel tank ensures that you have some decent range on this motorcycle. We average right around 36, 37 miles per gallon, but we like to give her a lot of gas. If you're a little bit more mellow on the throttle, you can probably get right around 40 MPGs on this motorcycle. No problem. Now, Suzuki motorcycles are renowned for the durability. After your initial oil change, this motorcycle goes 7,500 miles between engine oil changes, 15,000 miles for engine oil filters. The valve adjustment interval, according to the manual, is 15,000 miles, which is a little bit short, especially compared to the tuning fork brand's equipment these days. But in our experience, these motorcycles, even when you do check the valves at 15,000 miles, they're always spot on. So you know you're getting a, a quality pro product with this Suzuki GSX-1000 GT+. Plus. Well, folks, there's a lot to like about this motorcycle. The engine has a lot of power to the tune of almost 137 horsepower with 60 pound-feet of torque north of 4,000 RPM. A lot of power, good character, decent fuel mileage. I love the bags, they're easy to take off the motorcycle. They swallow nearly seven gallons of cargo in each bag. The only gripe with the bags is when you close them, you have to have the key in, open it, close it, pull the key out. I wish you could have the key out and still open and close it, but it's almost like a safety feature so you don't leave the bag open when you're riding. Handling on this bike is very nice. Yeah, it doesn't have corner and ABS, but realistically, it doesn't really need it. Overall, if you're looking for a very exhilarating and fun to ride and capable OG sport touring rig, this 2022 GSX S1000 GT, it really checks a lot of boxes for us, and if my money was on the line, I would absolutely consider this bike versus some of its more upright adventure sport touring competition. All right, folks, that wraps up today's review of the 2022 Suzuki GSX S1000 GT Plus. Make sure to surf on over to MotorcyclistOnline.com. That's where all of our written content comes to life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs it down if you didn't, because we love to hear from the naysayers. And thanks for riding with us today, and we'll see you guys next time.